What a fantastic upbringing those dogs are getting. Absolutely. And I know you and I are both dog lovers. Indeed. We cannot shout about the virtues of having a dog. Quite Absolutely. Lovely. Therapy in itself. <laughs> Very uh, but much so. I must say, they're out walking at the moment. They might need an extra layer on, an extra yeah. doggy coat. So it's we've turned got, wintry, hasn't it? It has, yeah. We've got a couple of days of meteorological autumn left. So by Friday, it's the start of meteorological winter. And the weather certainly got the memo because, yes, as Andrea just said, it is bitterly cold out there. As far as this week is concerned, here's the general setup. A cloudy and damp start. There hasn't been much blue sky and sunshine out there today, really, has there? It's all been very, it's felt like a Monday, hasn't it? Turning cold, though. And that means that by the time we get to the end of the week, there is the possibility, and I say the possibility, that we could see some wintry flurries. Why? Well, I'll show you. That cold I mentioned is thanks to a change in wind direction. So we have this blue air cold air flooding its way in from the north so it does mean that temperatures by day and particularly by night are going to feel decidedly wintry over the next few days now then the problem is yes we've got this cold air but we've also got a number of frontal systems at this time of the year as we know where the two meet we do get those wintry flurries so if you cast your eyes you will see these areas of low pressure a swirling mess of frontal systems effectively and they're going to edge their way across the south of the UK if you just look closely now at the moment they could edge further south so they might miss us all together but they could edge actually further north which means where it meets that cold air there is as I said the possibility that we could see some snowfall. I know it sounds like a whopping great big excuse but snow is just notoriously awkward to predict because it could fall as rain it could well fall as a bit of snow it's not an excuse that's but a good excuse we'll keep you posted is it the first time you've said snow this it winter is, so far is. and i hate you saying it i hate that word well. <laughs> <laughs> thank you apology <laughs>。There's a scattering of showers around at the moment, nothing too heavy. And actually, as we head through into the overnight stretch, these will largely fizzle out. So we're looking at a generally dry night across much of Wales. Varying amounts of clouds starting to bubble up away from the coast during the early hours of Tuesday morning. Temperature-wise tonight, dropping to lows of around 2 or 3 degrees. So there is the possibility of some frost developing in more sheltered rural spots by the early hours of tomorrow morning too. Possibly some mist and fog as well. So it is going to be a very chilly start by the time most of us wake to Tuesday morning. You can see the blues here, that cold, harsh frost, um, particularly over Arari, Snowdonia. But on the whole, Tuesday shaping up to be a bright and beautiful day. Lots of blue sky, lots of sunshine, a gentle breeze, but still that northerly airflow, which means the temperatures topping out at around six or seven in Celsius, possibly uh, struggling to get much above four or five degrees further inland. That is bitterly cold, a bit of a shock to the system, really. So not surprisingly, then Tuesday night is again going to be very, very cold and frosty. And as far as Wednesday is concerned, it's a case of more of the same. Generally dry and bright for much of Wales, with temperatures ranging between around four or five and up to six or seven down towards the far southeast. But it's by the time we get to the end of the week that, as I've been saying, it is all to play for. The outlook is certainly unsettled with that low pressure starting to work its way across the south of the UK. So for us here in Wales, there's the possibility, as I've been saying, that we could well see something of a wintry mix. It is the start of meteorological winter at the end of the week after all. But generally, we're looking, if we do see any snowfall, it will be confined to the hills and mountains. Possibly a few flurries at lower levels, but we're not expecting any disruption. There are no warnings and we will certainly keep you posted. Hello there, it's pretty dull and dreary out there this afternoon, low lying cloud, misty murky conditions with a breeze developing too and it's a northerly airflow which means we're feeling the chill with highs of just 8 or 9 in Celsius. As we head through this evening we'll see a further scattering of showers, these will tend to ease into the overnight uh, stretch with some low cloud mist and fog gathering once again, the temperatures dipping to around 2 or 3 degrees so there's the possibility of a little bit of grass frost in more sheltered rural spots. Setting us up though for a pretty decent start to tomorrow morning cold and frosty but there'll be lots of blue sky and sunshine a scattering of showers nothing too heavy but again feeling on the chilly side i'll see you later good morning to you a bitterly cold start to the day frosty for some too but things are shaping up very nicely lots of blue sky and sunshine for you today the outside chance of a shower but nothing you're going to notice too much you are certainly going to notice the temperature though feeling chilly with highs of around eight degrees i'll see you a little bit later